Hi guys, welcome to Sip9. In this video, I tutorial natin yung series natin on uh, work problem. No, so sa previous video pinag usapan natin yung isang work problem na about filling up or filling a pool with water. No? So uh, this is a similar problem, although medyo may konting pagkakaiba lang. No, uh, basahin natin para makita natin yung pagkakaiba. A swimming pool can be filled with water using an inlet pipe in six hours. No? can be emptied using an outlet pipe in 8 hours. One day after emptying the pool, the owner uh, opened the inlet pipe but forgot to close the outlet pipe. How many hours will, the, will it take to fill the pool with both pipes open? No? So pag meron tayong pool, uh, naka, uh, naka side view yung drawing ko, ano? side view. So yung inlet pipe, no? yung inlet pipe natin, siya yung kung saan ang gagaling yung uh, tubig, no? Uh, yun yung pumapasok sa pool. Tapos yung outlet pipe naman natin. Siya naman yung lumalabas, no? So, pag nililinis yung pool, syempre, tatanggalin yung tubig, no? Now, uh, notice that uh, the, the pool can be emptied in 8 hours, but it can be filled with uh, water in 6 hours, no? So, ibig sabihin, mas mabilis siya ma-fill mukhang mas malaki yung inlet pipe niya no? kaysa sa yung uh, outlet pipe niya. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin nun, mapupuno siya kaso nga lang mabagal. No? Kasi kung mas malaki itong outlet pipe niya, may empty siya kaagad. No? Uh, kasi mas maraming lumalabas kaysa sa pumapasok. Pero dito, mas maraming pumapasok kaysa sa lumalabas. Kaya, eventually, mapupuno yung pool, mas mabagal nga lang pag nakasarado ito. No? Nakasarado. Okay, so... Uh, pag 1 hour, no? Ito yung time natin. Uh, pag 1 hour, nafe-fill ng inlet yung 1 6 ng pool, no? Kasi 1 6 hours, no? So, sa isang oras, mafe-fill niya yan ng, ng 1 6, kumari. O, ng 1 6, no? Kaso, ma... This is inlet, not inlet. Bakit inlet? This is inlet. Pero yung outlet niya, may EMP niya ng 1.8. No? Ibig sabihin, yung uh, sa first hour, yung water, yung volume or amount of water is 1.6 minus 1.8, di ba? Sa second hour, 2.6, 2.8, 2, minus 2.8 naman. So sa third hour, 3.6, tapos 3.8, Meaning 3.6 minus 3.8 naman. Okay? So, meaning, uh, ilang oras siya? X hours. No? Okay? So, kung napanood nyo yung previous video no, sa solution natin, pwede nating sabihin na yung rate o yung speed ng, uh, ng inlet pipe ay 1.6 yung una. No? 1.6 times the number of hours of hours it is open diba? so pag anim na oras siya na open puno siya diba? kasi uh, one six ng ano niya eh, ng per hour eh. tapos uh, minus one eight no? times the number of hours of hours the outlet pipe is open equals 1 so mapupuno siya if the pool is, uh, is uh, filled with water so this is the number of hours the inlet pipe is open but notice that the number of hours na open yung inlet pipe is the same as the number of hours that the outlet pipe is open, di ba? Kasi nakabukas na yung, inlet, na yung outlet pipe nung binuksan na yung inlet pipe, di ba? So, pagtagas ng tubig sabay, no? Meaning, uh, if we let X be the, the number of hours, no? that the inlet pipe is open, ganun din yung X, uh, X din yung number of hours. 
that the outlet pipe is open. So, meaning we can let x be the number of hours both pipes both pipes are open. I think I know, So, meaning 1 6 x minus 1 8 x equals 1. So, sabi ko sa inyo, pag may nakita kayong fraction na ganito, kung gusto nyo eliminate yung fraction, just multiply everything by the LCM of the denominator. No? So, LCM of 6 and 8, ano? 24, di ba? So, 6 and 8, for example. Dapat prime number. So, 6 divided by 2, 3. 8 divided by 2, 4. So, 2 cannot be 3 divided by 2. Copy lang. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is uh, 4 times 3 is 12 times 2 is 24. Okay, so kung hindi nyo alam to, uh, hanapin nyo yung series natin ng LCM. No? Okay, so 24 yung ating uh, LCM. We multiply everything by 24. So multiply the left-hand side by 24. Multiply the right-hand side by 24. No? So magiging 24 over 6x minus 24 over 8x equals 24. Okay, naalala nyo pa mag-multiply ng whole number sa fraction, di ba? 24 times 1 over 6. Di ba naglalagay tayo ng over 1? Tapos multiply here, pag, pag whole number, pwede natin lagay ng over 1. That's 24. Then multiply here, that's 6. That becomes 4x. So 26 over 4. Oh, sorry, 24 over 6. Uh, 26 over 4. 24 over 6 is uh, 4x minus 24 over 8 is 3x. That is equal to 24. So x, no? 4x minus 3x is equal to 24. Meaning, mapupuno siya in 24 hours. So medyo matagal siya kasi meron siyang tagas. No? Tumatagas yung, yung outlet pipe. Okay, so the answer here is 24. Uh, how many hours will it take to fill the pool with both pipes open? So the answer is 24. 24 hours. Okay, so that's it. Sana may natutunan kayo dito sa video na to. Um, so I invite sa ating website, sip9.com at sa ating YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash sip9ph. Uh, Mag-subscribe kayo na at mag-explore kayo madami tayong videos. Maraming salamat. I'll see you in the next video.